Uh, now I need to, we need to do more bee houses. Dang it. Probably just clear out this way actually. Yeah, I'll we'll probably just clear out this way. Okay, there we go. Looks a bit nicer. I still got a bunch over over here to do, a bunch of terraforming, but I have more space. I wanted to do that so I could focus on getting more bees down. Then I can remove this and this and this and just build this house longer. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of you. You can just get out of here. I'm glad my bees weren't out. They would have died. They tell me they didn't. Okay, they didn't. Good. So, do two. Actually, the beehive. That's one, two. Should probably just do it right here. Whoops. Those are gone forever now. Whip. Do that. Do this. This here. We'll just build this out to here. For more bees. Oh, which I didn't want to get into, but that's okay. Beehive. Advanced. I can't even make an advanced one. I just must have got one from request reward. So I'll just place that there and place that one there. And do the same thing here. Spruce on top. Like so. Then I'll come over here and just do this. And we'll just... uh. Just do a door right here, I guess. Means I'm gonna need more of these. Open up my storage, there we go. Being so weird, man. I think it's because multiple things are bound to it. So it's being all goofy. Do like that. And then break this for another beehive and do this. And we'll do the beehive there. And we'll go spruce. Do this. Do that. Fill this up. Like so. Oh, I can't. I can't just nab from the beehive, the regular one. Rip. I have to actually come over here and grab it then. That sucks. Well, shoot the door here, like so, and we'll grab the bees, need to grab the grass, flower, sure we'll just do corn flowers, like so, and guess we'll just do this. Oh, you're a chocolate mining bee, get back in. B and a B. There we go. Okay. We have bees. Need to grab some dirt because my brain is telling me that I can't leave this how it is. Okay. Um, just gonna take that. Oh, dang it. Okay, there we go. I don't know what these other two mining bees are for. I'm pretty sure I can breed these or something. So I'll just leave them in there. You guys better not start fighting. I'll be angry. But at least we have some bees. So that's good. We have some form of automated prosperity now. All these guys are fighting for one block. It's not good, that's just gonna waste time. So maybe I need to make another one. Oh, did it work? Okay, sweet. Well, I'll still do that anyway. Just, just cause, and you guys are in there and hopefully you guys can produce honey. 
You guys are pollinated, but you don't want to go into the regular hive. I need an advanced hive, but I need a honey for that, which I don't have any. Well, that's, that's what it is with bees. You start slowly, but the prosperity combs are automatically getting outputted, huh? Maybe I need to not do that so I can grab some to upgrade these hives. So let's just dis disconnect that for now. And we'll wait for these guys to finish what they're doing. Um, but yeah, now we have more prosperity at least. And it'll start coming in, so that's good. Uh, let's make these like I was going to. So let's make these bed bearers. Okay, so now we have 12 of these. So these 12 can go straight down instead of like that. So let's grab these, I guess. Was that right there? There's one more over. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Okay, so this, two, three, 11, 12. Now we need to make the next tier. Oh man, now we need to make more of these. Damn it. Um, okay, let's just do that then. Four of those. And now 12 of these, and we go down again. One, two, three, 12. Let's clear these out, I guess. Okay, so now those 12 are going. And let's see if this is actually crazy. You're grown again. Let's just grab you. Oh man, yeah, you growing super fast. That's actually an insane speed. Dang. Okay, I think uh, your comment was maybe correct. <laughs> so thank you for that. Wow, that was really fast. Holy moly. I need some more of uh, these prosperity gems. Growth boys. It's like so. And so these three, four. These four, five, six, seven. Now let's uh grab those. Did those seeds break? That's upsetting, man. Wait, or did they not? I uh, did they get pumped into the hopper? Please say they did. No, okay, another quartz seed. Oh man, please. So another quartz, stone, infinity. Okay. Those are all four, I think. Alright. Let's take those and let's do Nether Quartz, Stone, and Infinity. We'll just put the spider one right here again. And we'll just line them up on these, on those back ones there. Yeah, we'll do that. Three right there. Okay, sweet, so those are cooking up much faster. All of those are, very nice. Damn, that one's gonna be, that one's growing super fast. I like that. Okay, we need more prosperity. Is this prosperity? No, zinc. Rip. Do you guys already have some combs for me, though? No, you don't. You'll probably have some in the morning, huh? You guys have no honey as well. And you two just don't want to go in any of those nests. Okay, well, awesome. That's sick, man. This thing is going to be growing hella fast. That's so cool. Okay, so since our inferium is growing i mean it's not as fast as i would like yet but that will fix with time let's go down here into our startings of our auto crafting lab this thing's still going we have we finally have more gold than iron that is crazy to me that is actually absolutely nuts we have 1.4k diamonds sick oh yeah okay time to make another crafter Need silicon? I did not know that. Need another void chassis. And crafting tables, huh? So we need more silicon. All right. What we can do then is go to our pattern grid here and do silicon. Do this. Do that. Go here. Tell this to keep 64 silicon on tap. What the hell? You're out of power? 
Is our whole system out of power? Hmm. No, because we can still access this. What is happening here? But you are out of power. You're not pushing to this? Are you causing problems? You guys are kicking off at full speed. You have power still. You have power, but you're not receiving. Why aren't you receiving? Hmm. Come here. Is... Oh, you I don't think this thing is strong enough to output as much as we need it to maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Well, we need to go get some more obsidian then so we can make the niotic one. Make a water bucket. Give me more obsidian. Being immune to lava is pretty nice. <laughs> okay, cool. We have some obsidian now. Go back down here. Go home. All right. Um, Ender cell. Okay. I'm hoping that if we remove this and we put this down. Things should start working again. I think that was the reason. Uh, it was just because it couldn't output enough power. Because it, it's holding power now. It just It's just getting drained fast as shit. Alright, let me check how many Niotic I have left now. I need 72. I have 130. That should be enough to make... Actually, no. I'm going to need 144. That's right. So I need to make 14 more. I made this niotic battery, man, but I can't do nothing with it. There we go. I put it in now. I guess I just needed to shift click it in. I don't know. But it worked. It did indeed work. So that's what matters. There's so many ender gates around. That thing is just getting absolutely farmed for energy. This is working though. We have lava in here. We need to set this up to output into our system as well. Um, How's the Niotic coming? We have 141. 142. All right, that should be all of them, all 36. Come over here, grab this, take these out, and upgrade this. We are out of urine tonight. Damn. Okay, 36, boom. Collect our quest reward stuff. We got a bomb. A bomb. Neat. We got some stuff and things. We'll throw those in there. We'll put the wind generator down too. This thing is cooking. 22k FE per tick, but we are running low on urine tonight. So we need to set up auto crafting with that then. Put this here. Let's get a cable out on this mug. It'll be another 36 FE. Wow. So good. Okay, so our power situation looks sorted besides the fact that we're low on urine tonight, which means we need to set up the auto crafter. Do I have the crafter? Oh, I didn't finish it. Okay, so crafter. We'll set this up. We could actually probably use the other crafter for this because it can do eight recipes. Crafter. Yeah, we can use this one for this because it's only going to input necessary thing so importer grab this 
Crafter, put that down. The importer there. Put the, uh, we have speed upgrades in here. Okay, we have three. We need an exporter. Uh, we'll probably use the elite for this one. And essence. Uranites, nether cords, just those for now. And we will remove this. So now we want to do this, apply that, and then go into here, do this, apply that. All right, perfect. Now we should probably do this, the speed. All right, so now this will auto craft and this will always output the essence in here uh, which is good for us and I'm stuck <laughs> okay so that's good uh, has where are you getting power from though oh the 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 cable under I'm silly okay what other essence do we have that we need to set up a recipe for we have grains of infinity all right let's go ahead and do that do those three apply then we set this to export that, and those will get crafted too. Now what we can do is crafter. Let's make another crafter here. We'll keep those separated. Exporter. Just make a regular one. Importer. Place this down. Like so. Okay, recipe that. That, 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 and then okay, so this should just slowly cook these up into Prudentium. There we go. So we just have auto Prudentium now. I might upgrade it further to have all of them, all of the ones coming out of here, but we don't have enough Inferium being pumped out to do that at the moment. Uh, but this is where it'll start. We can start doing all of the Inferium, Prudentium, all of those in here. And having those get auto-crafted for us as well. And this will help out with our essence crafting also. This is crafting as gold. We can set up even more and more crafters as we want. Um, as, we, as we get more and more, of course. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I got my... There we go. When I upgrade here... Let's go check on those combs. Let's see if we have any combs. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so now, hive, bee, uh-oh, we're gonna need to, okay, so I have one beehive, all right, so. Oh man, we completed a ton of quests with that. Oh wow, we just got a bunch of stuff too. Sweet, more spider seeds, okay. Uh, well, we have honeycombs, that's good. We need to upgrade this beehive here to in advance to beehive to campfire make some of those then and we need we have spruce right yeah we just need shears let's just make some shears then advanced spruce beehive okay so now oh damn it um are you guys gonna get mad at me do you think they'll get mad at me are the bees still in there? Damn it, you two. Get in here. Yeah, they're still in there. Okay, so let's just place that one then. Come here. Once you're out, I'll take you as well. Hurry up. Come on out. Come on out now. There you go. Come here. Break that, and we'll just block that real quick. Okay, go there, and you go here, and you go here. Did you go in? Sweet, okay, awesome. So now these bees are going in there. You better go in there too. Nice, okay, awesome. Take half of these, and we'll just dump them into here. If honeycomb's coming out, we have prosperity combs coming out. That's good. Now we can take this other beehive. And we can upgrade this one to a spruce one as well. And this 
No, you not you, because you have... Oh, is it because you have... No, it's not. Hmm, interesting. Well, we can put that there. But why can't I upgrade you? I can. It's just being weird, I guess. Okay. Put that down. Now, hopefully these two can go in these ones now. Or are you guys being picky? You guys are picky, huh? I don't know what hives to give you guys. Oh well. Oh well. Well, these are piped up now, which is very, very good. Which means that I can now set this to output as well. And set you back to output too. And since you have honey bottles, set you to output to that. There you go. Now I can set the item pipe to output into this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, this is the start of my bee journey, which I did not want to do in the first place. Let's go ahead and put those in there. That looks so cool though when it does that, huh? Looks so neat. It has a chance, right? These have a chance. 30% chance. That sucks. That really blows. What a shitty percentage. Oh well, I guess. But at least we have the bees now. We have combs too. Which output honey, right? Does this output honey? And then I'm going to have to do another importer on here for honey? Probably, huh? Probably so. Alright, Mr. Importer. Go on top there, I guess. And we need cables, which we have some. Let me do that. And you do fluids. So if honey gets output, we can have fluids. IUM, how much do we have? 178 already, that's good. Pro not having a lot of prosperity really sucks though. And we can't make seeds for it either. <laughs> that's the one thing with mystical agriculture that you cannot auto farm. It forced me to get into friggin' bees, which I did not want to do because I've done it too much. But again, that is okay. That is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, orange growth accelerators as well. So we can have the uraninite just getting pumped out really fast. There we go, even faster. Um, we don't have enough prosperity to continue all the way down, but this has 12, 12, 12, so that's 36 growth accelerators with some lily pads. Now though, I need to upgrade this. I need to upgrade this to the Supremium upgrade. This only works eight times as fast and we need it to work all, oh, but then that means I need prosperity ingots, which I don't have any prosperity, do I? I have three. Well, I guess it's time to go mine again. Dang it. I didn't want to have to do this. You're making me do this game. Y'all can blame the game for this, not me. It's forcing my hand. Oh, me. Oh, actually, I need to go further down. I can't find any up here. It's uh, 20 to 60, I think, is what it said. 20 to minus 64. Gotta go looking for it. First you zinc. Oh man, I was hoping that this was a whole bunch of prosperity. Sadly, it is not. Prosperity is does not spawn that large. Oh wow, never mind. Look at this one. 48 blo oh never mind. Uh shapeless it is two blocks of prosperity. How much was that? 24 though. That's good. Hopefully those bees will help. I'm probably gonna need a ton more though. Ten more of those friggin' bees. More prosperity. That's good. We have 31 now. Not a good fortune pull on that one, though. Zinc again. Prosperity again. 52. Not bad. Prosperity. 73. Nice. Okay. So let's go back home. Let's deposit this. And, oh, that was very loud. Let's take this out. And we need four of these. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go grab the master crystal. Man, I'm not gonna deal with that. So come here. Come here. Think I'm gonna need more than this, but we'll see. Nope, all good, just with that. Okay, and this awakened one. I don't have the awakened supremium essence or the this. How do I get the? Uh, I have to do the cognizant dust, which are dropped when I use that enchantment on them. That's fine. So we'll just throw this on the harvester here, and now it should be going. We should harvest much faster now. Still's not fast enough to harvest. Oh, that was that harvest pylon, right? Harvester pylon. This is from uh, Pilpo. Harvester pylon. Guess we're gonna make an Aldamadium Ho. Oh, this thing is so much faster. What? What the heck? Can I, uh. I need to see if I can place it differently. Can I place it over here? No, I can't. It wouldn't work. Yeah, I can't reach the rest. Damn. That means that I need to move the receiver. Which isn't, isn't horrible. Okay, so... Let me think how I want to do this. Uh, Can I place it here? And put the hoe in. Tilt to work seven by seven, and then drop a chest on top. Will it work? No. Okay, it works on the level that it that it's on. All right. Trial and error, baby. Place it there. Put the hoe in. Grab a barrel. Put the barrel there. I guess I place the receiver on the side here. I can. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Place the receiver right here. I'm gonna need more cable. Yeah, cause then I can just make the cable go up. Grab some cable here. There we go. Then I need an importer. Like so. Seven by seven. It harvests everything. Stack upgrade is what I'm gonna need. I'm definitely gonna need that. Oh man, I'm so glad I set up auto crafting. This is gonna be so much nicer with everything. So importer, put those in there. Now I need to go, oh, I hope I remember which freaking network it was. Oh no. <laughs> um, power orb, 52 blocks, 144, 109, I think it's this one. Dang it, that's why I like to label those, man. Yeah, this, this pylon is so much faster to, and better than to deal with in the harvester. Good lord, thank you, Pilpo. You the man. Okay, so this should now be good to go. This is gonna do everything immediately. Look at that. Holy cow. And this, since we have the indestructible hoe in there, it'll just keep going. Beautiful. So good, man. Oh my goodness. Pilpo, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Pilpo. Everybody say thanks, Pilpo. And then what we can do is, on the next level, we can just set up a whole nother farm again. We haven't made any lily pads lately. Check if we can do that. We need to make some more of these. And some more of these. Ooh, we made a whole stack. Very nice. Can we make another stack? We can. Ooh. 
There we go, 43. This should be enough to fill up the whole layer on the bottom here. Now we're not being bottlenecked by what can harvest it. Yeah, this is gonna be much nicer. Oh my goodness. Craft, we need to craft 24 of those because we have the raw ore. That'll get crafted. How's our uh, thing down here going? Hopefully that'll keep going because we're getting all the essence and the essence should be immediately getting pumped out. And this thing is growing so damn fast now. Okay, let's go ahead and make some more. Make some more uh, uraninite seeds. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody say way ho. Go. Boom, boom, boom. And everybody say way ho. Go. And we'll plant these next to it and we'll move the other seeds and we'll just use all of our growth accelerators for these seeds so we can get some more going yeah we'll do all these three right here nature seeds come with me okay now let's where's all the urine tonight again i done forgot where i placed it Let's see, uh, urinite, 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 so those three. There we go. It's 21, we need three more. We'll grab those, that's 24. So now we can do 12 down. Oh, we already had three. Okay, there we go. We'll just do that. Sweet, so now the urinite is pumping. Pumping, just pumping up. We have the 12 more here. Um, I'm just gonna hold on to these, I guess, till we get the blues for that other layer. Hell yeah, so now these are gonna be growing like crazy. Oh, it's, that's what I'm pressing. I'm pressing H. Okay, that's why my magnet was turning on and off. Now this should start getting a bunch of urine tonight. Ooh, look at it. It's getting power too. These aren't doing anything now. What the hell happened? Is our chunk destroyer done? This thing is still cooking. Are you producing enough? Ah, this is producing enough to handle that system over there. Yes! Oh, yes! That's so good. I'm really happy with that. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Wah, wah, wee, wah. How's our prosperity? 81 still. It's not bad at all. Uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get all these on here then. Let's. Get rid of those and we'll do boom, 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 boom. Now we need these ones, which need this. So let's go ahead and make some of that. Oh, we're also gonna need some of these too. Damn. Uh, one, two, three, four. We'll do that for now. We need some of these. You are very slow, huh? Dang, man, I didn't expect you to be that slow. There we go. We need eight of those, because we need to make these. 24 of those. And now we'll make the blue ones. 12 of those, okay. Let's go over yonder and let's place these down. Let's go. Keep going, because then we can, if we place these blues, then we can place all those reds we have, too. This thing's going to be crazy fast. Oh, man, yeah, look at that. It's like almost instantly growing now. Oh, hell yeah. Now we're going to have urinite coming in. Yep, we have more than we're using now. Frick yes. And this thing is harvesting like crazy. We have our stack upgrade in here. Let's just actually let's just upgrade it to gold. Why not? Just toss it in there. Bing. Oh hell yeah, dude! What a huge upgrade for the farm, man. See now everything is just constantly harvested. That freaking harvesting pylon is insanely good. That's crazy. Okay, so somebody did mention to me that Flux Networks would be a really good alternative to using wireless power mainly due to the fact that the limit on our power is due to this thing here 
which can only output up to 100 KFE per tick. But with the Flux Networks, you can up that limit to as much as you want, or you can completely remove the limit. So I think getting into Flux Networks might be a good idea. And also, we are out of power, and I think that's due to the Chunk Destroyer right now, because this, this thing is not even powered, which is, uh... Well, no, that would... Wouldn't that mean that our refined storage network isn't powered? What is going on here? I am confused. I'm confusion. It's only using that much. This absolutely should be linked up. I need to check this. Are you... Okay, you're stuck. You aren't going. Why aren't you going? Why aren't you doing the thing? Is it really because of power? I don't think it is. We are still getting power. Yeah, we have plenty of power in our cable network. Why aren't you getting power, man? Why are you acting like you ain't able to do nothing? This is intriguing to me. That pylon's going to fill up and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. It's the power orb. This is way farther away. This is also far away. Let's relink this and see if that fixes it. I wonder if that'll fix the problem. I hope so. I sure hope it does. Okay, that fixed it. I don't know what happened. But anyway, it's set up and now it's outputting, so that's good. We're getting a ton of stuff from our farm. Now let's look into Flux Networks. I know that we're going to need obsidian, not, not lead nuggets. We're going to need obsidian. So let's grab some obsidian and we're also going to need redstone. So let's just grab a few stacks of redstone here. We'll grab four. And we'll just we'll just do four. I also need to turn off my magnets and also turn it off here. Now to start with flux networks, we actually have to go down here to bedrock. Oh, what am I doing? I have a waystone down there. I'm not about to run down now. So we go over here. Whoops. Grab that and go to the mine. Ouch. Okay, so to use flux networks, what you have to do is you take an obsidian block, put it above above bedrock with a block in the middle, then you drop the redstone. I wonder if we can do multiple stacks. I actually don't know. Then you punch, so left click that. Oh, look, it did work. Nice. So we did get... It only, oh, it did three stacks. It didn't do all of them though. But you punch the obsidian and that's essentially how you get this flux dust here. If you look at the recipe here, see, you need redstone. You have to drop redstone down there. You left click the obsidian block and then it crushes it essentially. There's a chance that the obsidian will actually turn into cobblestone instead of obsidian. So be aware you might need to bring multiple obsidian blocks with you like that, you see. It is now cobble, but we have some flux dust and that should be enough to get our network started. So let's go ahead and chuck some of this away. Now we need to make some flux cores. That is the next step. Let's go ahead and look up flux networks and we'll go ahead and pin what we need. So we're going to need flux plugs. We're going to need a flux points and we're going to need flux cores. I don't know if we need these two. I don't believe so. But this is what we're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and make some flux cores. We'll just make a whole stack if we can. There we go. Okay, we made a full stack. Now we need a flux point. And we're also going to need a flux plug, which we need a flux block for. So let's go ahead and make one. All right, let's grab our juicy quest rewards. Okay, we got some XP's and another flux block. That's nice. Okay, so the flux point provides energy to adjacent blocks actively, removing energy from your flux network. That's once you set up a flux network, of course. And then your flux plug will receive power from blocks. So what we want to do is go over here, and we're going to want probably to put it right on top of this. Maybe actually... Instead of putting it here, we'll go ahead and put it down here where our main big boy is. Let's go ahead and drop this here. And now we're in the interface. So this is the interface for Flux Networks. 
So we need to go to the network selection, or you can press the plus here, and you click create network. Um, you can do one network if you want. Whoops, it didn't let me type. So we're going to do... I can't type I. Why can't... It won't let me type I. Oh, it's because this weird thing is bound to I, and it's, t it's taking precedence over me typing. So key I. Yeah, you go away. You're unbound now. Get unbound. So now let's try to type input. We're going to do input network. And this is, so this here decides if you want to have your network pr public so everybody can see it and use it on the, on if you're playing on a server. You can do encrypted if you want specific people with a password to use it, or you can do private and private will just be your own network. I'm going to change this to red. We'll create the network. Now we need to tell this to be a part of the input network. Here you can you can change the name of it. So I'm just going to name this uh, if it'll let me freaking name it. There we go. So you just type input plug. Um, and for some reason, G closed that. I think it's because it's on my backpack. Input, whatever. I'm just going to name this input. So priority, you can change this if you want certain plugs to have priority over using them over this one say like if you have multiple plugs on multiple different systems i don't need to worry about that because i have literally everything hooked up to this block here so i don't need to worry about that but you can also change the transfer limit and that's essentially how much it can transfer so i'm just going to set that to a million uh, you can also turn on chunk loading here if you need to but uh, we do not because we can determine we can determine chunk loading with another mod. And I actually think it's disabled on here. So you can also turn on wireless charging with this if you want to as well. Which I might go ahead and do instead of instead of using the power mod. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we need to change this thing here to allow output on the top. So now our network here will begin to gain power once once we start using it. It'll start sucking up power from this, and then we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and go set our flux point onto something. And what we'll probably do is we'll go set it on the chunk destroyer, because the chunk destroyer is the one causing us problems right now. So let's go ahead and remove that. And then what we can do is this. Now we need to tell it, we'll put this on the input network. And now you can see it's outputting FE, but it's outputting way too much. So we need to go ahead and tell this to only output, we'll do 20,000 FE. So now this here is outputting out of our network. And what we'll probably do is actually change the network name to wireless power because we're not doing you could use the input output if you want to do like an input network and an output network so you have a network that's pulling stuff in but then you can also set an output on another system so you can have separated so you can have separated networks and the reason you might want that is just so you can see statistically what's happening but right now you can see that we are taking in 20k and we're outputting 20k so that is good and that's where you could change the limit of your flux plug that you put onto your power source in order to make sure that it doesn't actually go over its limit but in this case we're just going to set them with our flux points here to just how much ever we need I mean, this thing is still freaking going so fast this thing look how much it has just in its buffer that's crazy can it even yeah this thing can't even output fast enough to fully keep up with it that's insane so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and upgrade our export, our exporter or importer rather downstairs so we can fix that problem. What you got down here? You already have speed upgrades. You need stack upgrades as well. Or do I just need to make a faster importer? Like the fast, faster than the elite because you cannot keep up. Well, maybe you need a stack upgrade too. That's probably what you need. At least one stack upgrade. Maybe then it can keep up. I'm unsure, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and make one. Oh man, I love having auto crafting set up just so we can have everything prepared for this. Okay, so take that and this. 
Now you're doing good, right? Yeah, okay, the stack upgrade helped with that quite a bit. It still might get jammed up a little bit here and there, but that's much faster than it was already just because of the stack upgrade. What in the hell? Why are you running so weird? Why can I only see? Okay, there we go, it fixed. Yeah, it was only showing me what was actually getting output. That's crazy. But that's the basics of Flux Networks. We could get deeper into it, but I only went as deep as I needed in order to explain what I'm using this for. Um, but yeah, so this will allow us to output 20K. So these all are gonna be being used very heavily in order to fuel that chunk destroyer, but it's gonna be so worth it. Just because of the amount of resources we're gonna get will allow us to eventually also upgrade this even further. And this is generating 21K as well, which is really nice. How is our Uranonite looking? We're at 175, we are doing so well. Oh yeah, because if you guys remember, we had like none left. We had barely any urine a night, so having a over 100 is so good. Hello, witch. Goodbye, witch. You're dead to me. Let's go ahead and dump out our backpack because I need to think about what I want to do now. Go ahead and throw the flux dust stuff away. We will slowly cycle out the ender gates into using the flux network. I think that'll be a good idea. Goodness, we're already at almost 2k diamonds. That is crazy. Holy crap, man. We have 8.8k gold. We have, we have barely any iron, surprisingly. I mean, to be fair, you use iron like the most. Oh, and in the previous video, uh, someone mentioned that you can actually use that crafter that I was using and you can lock... Where is it at? Craft... Is it in my, is it in me pocket? These crafters here. So the crafters, someone did mention that in these crafters, you can actually set it up and you can lock slots in here in order to make sure that not everything gets filled up. I don't exactly know how to do that, but I do know that it's something that you can do. So we can use them in the future. And look at this, we're still kicking off with this thing and we still have 11,000 Inferium. And we have 500 Prudentium. That's crazy. We're still way ahead on this. Well, now we can probably tell this to keep exporting predictions again. Not in this one. We'll do it in this one here. We can probably put the predictions back in here. I mean, it's going to use a ton of stuff. Uh, what we need to do now is probably set up sand to craft. But, uh, see, there's the problem. I don't want to necessarily do something too fast. So I might use a crafter here just to limit how fast things can go. So I'll go ahead and set up another crafter just so we can go a bit slower. Oh, we already have one. Sweet. Okay, so we can do that. Set this here. Break that. Now we need an importer and an exporter. I'm just going to move these to the top of my thing here. We need an importer and we need an exporter. So let's go ahead and put the importer on the back. And we'll put the exporter on the top okay so now we will need we're gonna need some speed upgrades for this one because goodness it's going to go probably pretty fast so let's go ahead and make some more of these and make some of these and we'll actually probably just throw a stack upgrade in here because this thing's going to be making 16 sand per per stack let's go to sand regular sand not smooth sandstone just regular sand so there we go. Oh, we can shift click it in. That is super nice. Okay. Now we just need a capacitor. So we need one capacitor from here and we'll just take a basic capacitor and we'll just drop that in there. Yep. This one has the double layer. That was the octatic. Yep. So this will do its thing. Now what we need to do is grab the essence for fire and dirt was it yeah so now we'll be crafting sand you have a stack upgrade right no you don't okay there we go stack upgrade now we'll just continuously put out sand and then our stack upgrade will pull it out perfect and with with the way that our system is set up or our crops are set up i hope that we'll be producing enough to keep up with that so we can have permanent sand coming through it doesn't look like we are going to be producing enough but that's okay. The reason I wanted to set that up is so we can have the prediction matrixes getting shoved into here and also so we always have sand getting cooked because we don't have we don't have glass sitting here 
telling it to always make it we have these the prediction matrixes but the prediction matrixes use glass panes so they always need sand and with how things are going to end up we're not going to have any sand so we need to make sure that we have some in reserve for whenever it does end up needing to make any glass panes we made a ton of glass earlier so we will have a bit of a buffer but we want to make sure that we're prepared look at this guy what a cheapskate trying to sell me packed ice for three three emeralds you stink man oh but there we go yeah we got freaking sand outputting here that's really nice the prediction matrixes are going to keep kicking off these things are using quite a bit of power these use 2500 these ones use 700 for the wither skeletons but that's okay because we do need we do need more and more nether stars we only have 4,000. that might sound like a lot but it's not we're gonna need over like 200 300,000 to even attempt to get to the atm star which by the way we're nowhere near we're nowhere near there uh, i think what i want to do is try to improve our power situation just get so so much power i've actually never made a mechanism reactor um, I've also heard that they can be a pain in the ass, so I don't know if I want to attempt that. But we did set up the flux network. We got stuff going. It's going to be really nice. It's looking super good over here. We've got a, I mean, we've got a bunch of crap going on in little areas, but at least we separated things, right? We've got the start of bees, even though I didn't want to mess with bees at all. Or actually, we got further with the bees. So that's good because we were already started with them. Uh, we got this pylon set up, which is super nice. I absolutely love this thing. The pylon is super great. We have all of the uh, lily pads of fertility. We started working on this down here. I mean, we have the uraninite going strong. We already have one row that goes all the way down, which is super cool. We're going to continue to do this for all of our crops. And then we'll also build another layer on top of that to get even more stuff going. So that's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. This melon farm is going to continue to probably be obsolete. I mean, we have a crap ton. We have a crap ton of uh, biofuel in here. We're almost halfway full. Our melons are struggling to keep up just because this thing is pumping out biofuel so fast. But that's okay. We still do need this system because it produces 21k. I mean, this system alone is pumping enough power to power our chunk destroyer which is really good we absolutely need that thing and then this thing is just continuously kicking off as well i mean let's look let's look at how much we have in here look at that and that's just what's been sorted already i mean look in here this is ridiculous man there's so much stuff so i want to get more power so i can improve this entire system even more we can upgrade the machines all the way to their elite level their highest level and then we can also put another row on top and etc etc but we are going to need way more power for that. It's going to get extremely expensive with power before we can do something like that. But as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you in the next one. <gasps> Goodbye.